So here is a quick tour around my room. I labeled an info sticker on my door. And I, th I thought it was funny, so let's go in. And so there's my room. And I mean, this, this video was requested by a lot of people, thumbed up. And last time I did something like this, pretty much everyone bashed me for doing it. So I'm hoping I have a more mature audience this time. So, I mean, I'm gonna do some stuff on the, I'll do uh, overviews of all my stuff that I have, like my sculptures and stuff, but let's go on to some stuff that is new. Like, again, with the PC, which is probably really boring, I know. I've been doing a lot of videos on it, but I'm gonna have an upgrade coming up. And I'm doing a, let's see if you can see that. I'm gonna be water cooling my seat PCs, uh, graphics cards, and yeah, so probably gonna cut out my name there, but anyways, so let's see, yeah, so gonna get cooling for my graphics cards there, water cooling, and get another radiator at the back actually found my EK water block sticker and I'm pretty happy about that so there you can see it's a nice sticker I had it next to the ROG and Core i7 sticker there at the back and I was thinking I could because I'm gonna water cool so I might not need air cooling intake for my GPUs anymore so I might cut this out and add a plexiglass window thing uh, so that uh, the you can see through and maybe scrape something onto the plexiglass like the finished part and logo that I have here my controller yeah so this is actually my custom painted controller I've been using it for a bit over a year now you can see I have some of the paint coming off but mostly because of a lot of use and probably you know, gonna improve my painting techniques in the future it has blue lighting. Hmm, I wonder why the bottom left doesn't light up. Worked yesterday. So anyways, the LEDs light up and uh, for, there's the Xbox. I have a Halo 3 ODST console skin on it. A Halo 3 a microphone. I also have two Xboxes more. Uh, actually three. I did a Forza Motorsport gaming video earlier, but it's not like I'm keeping them all around here. So, yeah, that was it. So here's my chair. I mean, terrible condition. Seriously, I mean, look, I have all this, but I can't afford a chair. Just breaking that. So, I'm still waiting for new chairs. But let's go on to my items that I have. So, I mean, here's the my recently uh, reviewed Warthog and I mean it's a nice Warthog I have it on top of my Sennheiser HD800 headphone box I have a remote control for my uh, television and over here some random stuff I'll get onto that later a Halo graphics novel including a figurine this is a Halo Action Clicks figurine and then McFarlane figurine that came with the controller I have Crisis uh, Nano Edition stuff here, so the art book at the back, nicely displayed in my shelf, and the Crisis uh, Limited Edition figurine still, Factory Seal never opened that. Over here, um, I have Marathon, like this game, it's really awesome, got it in 1997 or so, and I mean it's a trilogy. Trilogy box set, so that pretty much means that I mean it has all three marathons on it, and it's really rare. And here's my custom painted and edited figurine. It's the it's supposed to resemble my. It's it actually has identical parts and color scheme as my Spartan in Halo 3. And there's the Master Chief figurine behind him. If you can see him with the yeah, I turned up the ISO volume. Let's see. Then I have Forza. Oh, yeah. 
cleaning cloth again. I have a lot of that. So Forza Motors boards. Um, Forza Motorsport 2 Limited Edition and Forza, uh, Forza Motorsport 3 Limited Edition over here. So, I mean, I think they're pretty cool. Like, this is actually in Italian, this game. So, uh, the Forza 2, I got that in Switzerland. And, uh, the instruction manual, everything is in Italian. I don't understand a thing. But I guess it's cool because, you know, they're a big ca car country with Ferrari and stuff. So, so yeah and let's go down uh, Mass Effect so Mass Effect the 2 limited edition and Mass Effect 1 limited edition over there and some games at the bottom I'll show those later um, then just some random stuff like uh, over here uh, instruction manuals uh, gamers guides Halo 2 the official game guide uh, the art of Halo Edge Halo Reach magazine thingy. I have actually five dollars. Oh my god, five dollars. American currency. Yeah, that's worth like three euros. Okay. So, whatever American currency, I have that too. Then I have my laptop here, which is not really used much. I have a lot of items over here, like an hourglass and stuff that I just, you know, might use. I don't use the hourglass that often, but the screwdriver can come in handy. And I use that often with my PC and stuff. And let's get to the other side. So, uh, Kimi Raikkonen Formula 1 Championship. So this is a famous Finnish uh, race driver so that won the Formula 1 Race Championship in 2007. And, yeah. Uh, he is something. Darth Vader. Lego Darth Vader. I can't remember why I got that, but it's there. So, let's see. I have the Halo 3 Legendary Edition helmet over here. Uh, on top of that, I have my ODST helmet and my build a Mark 6 helmet, Master Chief helmet, which I build myself. and and as well as the OGST of course and I did the paint job uh, I used toothpaste to do like a worn texture look so like I put silver paint then toothpaste on top of the silver paint and then I just did the overlay paint and scraped off all the toothpaste so the silver comes out of the bottom really nice and I mean it has a vacuum formed visor from I think it's Link 4044 from 405 Forms. Some stickers over there for details and stuff. I mean, this is a really nice helmet. And yeah, I added some fans inside. So there I have Revel Tech fans because I mean, it's gonna. I mean, you're not going to have any air inside, which is like lame. Let's see if I can get the camera in. Yeah, you can see, you should be able to see. I have a big microphone, so I can't get it in properly. But you can see through the visor just fine. So, I mean, that's not restricting. But it's more difficult to see in. So, you know, it's like a motorcycle visor. You see, you see out, but you don't see in. I mean, you see out a little bit, but not, not too much. And uh, yeah, so up here, my Halo novels, and uh, I mean, uh, I got the Krypton, this is my latest novel, and uh, I mean, this is an amazing book. Anyone should read this book, I don't care if you're a Halo fan or not, I mean, the book is just an amazing, great novel, I mean, it's one of the best novels I've ever read, and so here are the other, the more recent novels that came out, and these ones that I got. Like back in 2001, I think already. So I mean, the first strike, which is the third novel that came out, and uh, here is the Fall of Reach, which is the first one. I really love Fall of Reach, but the flawed book, flawed novel. I mean, that's just terrible. It's fucking bullshit. It just follows the cur uh, events of the game uh, to the letter, which doesn't make any sense. Like I mean, when you make a book it should be something proper so I mean like 
original story or not as close follow up. I, I don't care if Master Chief picks up a sniper rifle or a rocket launcher. I want to know what he's feeling, not what he's shooting. So, yeah, Halo Reach, uh, limited edition that came in the legendary edition. Halo 2 official soundtrack. So, then below that, I have my Halo 3 Microsoft Zoom case. Uh, I mean, I never threw that out. And uh, let's see. Uh, over here I had the Zoom actually, so I mean I've been holding on to this really, really, really carefully, so I know there's going to be a lot of noise since I've turned up the ISO frequency, but there you can see the Halo 3 Zoom. I mean this is just an amazing device. I just like it. Let's see if I can turn on the power. Yep, it has power, so I rarely use this product, I only got it because it's a Halo, Halo 3 edition, yep, I mean, it's really awesome, though, yeah, so music videos, pictures, radio games, settings, so I think you can actually play games with the Zoom, but I mean, yeah, doesn't really matter at all, so then there's another Halo Reach limited edition behind that, and uh, yeah, that covers about that. Oh yeah, let's show. Uh, I have this game box thing that I made. I was like probably like 11 or 10 years old. I have no idea. So I mean, I should make a new one which looks better. I have some. So the camera stopped recording. So I have some games here like Mass Effect regular version, another Forza Motorsport. You need each for. And the third one, you need each for like every screen you have. StarCraft 2, Portal 2, and stuff. Uh, then I have my pen, pen and touch from Wacom Bamboo, which I use to Photoshop stuff. 